I was uh, for a year clean, and then all of a sudden, I just found myself back on a, a methamphetamine. I didn't run away from the problem, you know. I, I stayed in the program. I paid the consequences of my relapse and all that, but um, I don't want to give up the search for this recovery thing. Every single time you went back, you got more time. So that means that all the while that you were relapsing and probably thinking that you were failing, and I'm not recommending that relapse as a technique to get better, you were getting better and you were learning more each time. I felt that after that relapse, something had changed, that um, I was becoming a new person, you know, that I was starting to feel ashamed of my behavior and that, and that I could do something to change it. As hard as it is to get through this wall stage, it's a good sign because it means that you're on track. It actually means that your brain is healing. When we start using, we don't understand the consequences. We want to feel good, gain energy, lose weight. Before we know it, damage has been done. The good news is that if we stop using, our brains heal and life begins to feel good again. Here at the cellular level, damaged receptors and transporters regrow over a six to 12 month period. These scans actually show the healing process. The red areas show our brain regenerating over time. Our transporters are working again, our dopamine levels are rising, and life's possibilities return. I wasn't ready before, but now I want it. I want it so bad, I crave my recovery. My outlook on recovery is that anything is possible. Simple things give me immeasurable pleasure now, and I don't want to ever lose that. Last night when I felt like using, and then I woke up this morning and I was still clean. That gives me a lot of hope. I've been able to stay clean for over a year and a half. I'm not just uh, existing in life, I'm living. I have to be vigilant forever, but I'm confident that that switch will never be turned on again. I'm able to sit down and teach my daughter her ABCs. It's called patience and I didn't have it before, and I have it today. I set goals, and today I accomplished them. It was really important to realize that, that I had something to offer, that all the things that I've been through, all the experiences, all the addiction, everything that I went through was for a reason and a purpose, and it was so that I could be who I am today. Because I look in the mirror today, and I think, you rock, you know? So I'm really happy with who I am today, and so, I wouldn't trade that for anything.